So today we're going to have a look at this shrub right here. You can see it has a fairly large sort of arching mounding habit. So this particular one is hmm, probably two and a half meters tall. And if we get closer, we can look at a few other things. So the bark itself is kind of this reddish color with a little bit of um, cracking in it. And the leaves are opposite each other on the stem. And if you feel them, they have sort of a tiny bit of um, kind of a sandpapery sort of feel, a little bit of hairs on them. And you'll notice they have these fairly smooth margins, but they have these little tiny points along the ends. And not every single leaf has them, and on some of them they're more obvious than others. Like this one has these little, the points are a little bit more distinct. And uh, that's fairly common of these. You'll also notice that there's sort of these three main leaf veins that are quite distinctive. And we're in luck because we just caught it as it's finishing flowering. So you can see here, this is the flower for which this plant gets its name. So it's called a mock orange. Um, named that because of the smell of the flowers, which are quite nice and smell and sort of look like orange blossoms. But uh, the scientific name is uh, Philadelphus louisii. And uh, if you get a chance to smell them, they smell so nice. They have um, four petals kind of shaped into the four directions here and aren't too large. They're, I don't know, a bit bigger than a toonie, I guess. But they're, they have a very nice smell to them. And you can see that they later form into these sort of capsules after they've been pollinated. So if, if you don't have the flowers, probably the most distinctive trait is the leaves with that kind of little bit of a sandpaper-ish almost feeling and the little extra tiny um, jags on the leaf margin.